Welcome to Flash CS5 tutorial. Make a comic book part 4. Naturally that's a follow up to part 3. And in this video we're going to make the first page that has the comic strips on it. I have the FLA open from part 3 and just to show you what we have at this point in time it's this little cover page and what we're going to do is put some comic strips blocks on this page. Uh, open the action panel. I don't want to have to go through all that every time we want to test it out and put a couple of backslashes to comment that out. And select this mask layer and click on this little envelope here. And I got a folder call that folder mask M-A-S-K and now we put that mask up in here and when we do all this stuff now and we can get some room on our timeline lock all the layers select the layer first that's page one layer insert a layer call it P-G-1 SQ2. So this is the going to be the first page in square number two. Select the second frame. Insert a blank keyframe. And what I'm going to do is make that disappear so it's not in my way. And make my stage 50% for a minute. Unlock this page one layer and I want to get rid of this. So this is the only layer that's selected and I can delete that. Now I have locked that page one and select this second frame of PG1 square two and I have some things pre-drawn to save some time. And right here you're going to draw something and what I have is a little building. There it is. I'm going to make it just slightly smaller than that using my free transform tool, just slightly smaller. And also on that building, we're going to highlight it. And while it's highlighted, modify convert it to a symbol movie clip and it is going to be PG1 SQ1 underscore MC and if I double click on it that puts me inside that movie clip I want to call this first layer of this movie clip the building university U N I V E R it's a university Lock this layer, put in a new layer, call it sign. It's going to be a sign in front of it. Sign. And right there, draw on top of that. I'm going to enlarge this a little bit so you can see what I have. Is this sign? And I'm going to put draw it right about here. So I can see some of the door. And I'm going to make that slightly smaller using my free transform tool. That's my first square. Go back to scene one. Insert another page. Call it PG1SQ2 this time. Select the second frame. Insert a blank keyframe. And another little drawing. It's a drawing of a lab and putting it right here while it's highlighted modify it to a symbol movie clip PG1 SQ2 underscore MC 
So we have that one done too. Somewhere along the way, I labeled this one wrong. This should be PG1 square one. Okay, good. Go back to this new one we just put on. In my case, it's a lab. Double click on it. Now we're inside of this new movie clip. Call this the lab, L-A-B. Lock this layer. And I'm going to put, add two layers, two new layers, and I'll show you what they are. First of all, I have a door standing by itself, just this door. Then I have this wall that's around the door with a little sign. You don't need to be able to read it. And if I close them off, behind it is my lab. Okay, that one's done. Let's go back to scene one. We have two little squares filled in. Go up here where you have page one, square two selected. Insert another layer. PG1SQ3, naturally. Select that same second layer. Insert a blank keyframe. I'm going to lock the other layers. And underneath this, I want to put a new image. It's another image of that lab. While it's highlighted, modify it, convert it to a symbol. PG1SQ3, I think we are, underscore MC. Double click on it, we're inside of it. Call this layer the lab, L-A-B. Lock that layer, insert a new layer, call it the doctor. Doctor, he's the guy that's in this, working in this university lab. And you can draw yourself a little doctor. Any kind of a person will do. And I'm going to sit in here like this. In my lab, this doesn't matter that his feet stick out. That's, that's pretty good. Lock that one. Go back to scene one. Lock this layer. Insert a new layer. Page one, square four. PG one, SQ four. Select that second layer. Insert a blank keyframe. Drawing this in. Just make it a little bit smaller. So it fits right there. There's another lab. While it's highlighted, you know, you got the procedure down. Modify it, convert it to a symbol. PG1SQ4 underscore MC. Double click on it. Call this layer lab again. Lock it, insert a new layer, and save me some drawing. I put two things here. I'll go through them with you in a minute. I want to select them both and use them. I'm just getting them to size what I want here. And there's two different things here. Okay, I've added two layers here. I'll just show what they are. There's the doctor himself. And the other one is his hands with a beaker and some touch-ups. So that's for that guy. Let's go back to scene one. You probably know what's going on now. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. PG1SQ5. Insert that blank keyframe and drawing something here. And I'm going to paint, paste in mine. You're going to paint yours or draw yours. And 
Connecticut State University again to Mogsai. Highlight it. Modify. Square to symbol. PG1SQ5 underscore MC. Double click on it. Label this one, label this layer University, UNIV. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. It's still going to be the sign. And you're going to put the something in here. There it is. That one, yes, is close enough. Yep, lock that. Go back to scene one. Lock that layer. Insert a layer. We're almost finished this. PG1 SQ6. Select that second frame again. Insert blank keyframe. Do your little drawing here. In my case, this is the garbage dump. Actually, not quite happy with that size. It's the garbage dump. There it is. While it's highlighted, movie make it a movie clip. PG1SQ6 underscore MC. inside of it. Call this layer pile of junk. P-I-L-E. That's the pile. Lock this layer. Insert a layer. Call it the sign. Got signs everywhere. Okay. Select that layer. There's the tower from the building. And this is the sign. I'm going to read magnify that see what that looks like I'm happy with that there and lock them layers back to scene one and let's test this out see what this looks like okay, well all I could do is put a black background around that let's do that scroll down your timeline here to page one select that first layer make sure all the layers are locked except that layer and it just might fill with a black. Here we go. It just might fill. Nope. Make your stage 50%. Your rectangle tool. I have black and black selected. Making a rectangle. There it is. I'm highlighting it. Select this. and making this 300 by 450 open my alignment panel make sure align the center stage align it centered horizontal and vertical and that's my back page and it's going to change up here so let's just click here and drag that right up to the end for now and then click here and drag that onto the end so I have all that black. Let's test this out. And there's our comic page. There's one more thing we have to do, and that is open the actions layer, the action panel, and get rid of those two backslashes so it starts from the beginning again and let's do this final test and I'm sure this is going to work and there the page turns that's enough for this tutorial uh, I'm prob I'll do a follow-up it'll be naturally make a comic book part 5 and we'll put some activities and some text on this page.
Hope you learned something from this tutorial, and I hope you use what you learn.